Okay, so let's continue with the next video, guys. Okay, the C is between A and B. So fourth point here is C is in between A and B. So basically, that that basically means that if somewhere on a linear, uh, let's say there's a linear arrangement here. If I place A here, B here, so C is somewhere on between A and B. That means C can be here also. Okay, or C can be here also. Correct, right? Even C can be here also. If we have this A and B here, so C can be here also, right? So basically, C is somewhere in between A and B. That's the meaning, right? So many people confuse confuse that with exactly here. When C is exactly between A and B, that means that that could this could be one case. C is exactly between A and B, right? Two places left, two places right. Ah, huh? to A and B. This can be another case. C is exactly between A and B. This can be another case. Let's say three to uh, three to five and two seven. A can be here, B can be here, C can be at uh, let's say fourth place. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if A is at one and seven, C is at four. Exactly between A. Even if this is also possible, A can be at three, B can be at five, and C is at four. This also is exactly between A and B. That's the difference, guys. Okay, so between exactly between and between A and B, that's a difference in linear arrangement. Okay, now. E is two places away from F, right? So E is two places away from F. So basically, again, this is also a kind of misconception among uh, among the students. If if I mark here one, two, three, four, five, six. If I say E is two places away from F, that basically means that if I put E here, then always the next person. Let's say I put G here, so I can write that G is one place away from E. G is one place away from E. Okay, that means the next position is always one place away. So G is one place away from E, and vice versa also. E is one place away from G. Both things I can say here. One place away from G, right? So similarly, if I wear that F is two places away from E. So if E is here, so I have to place F here. Okay. So if E is here, I have to place F here. So F is two places away from E. Also, I can say that one, two, three, four, five. If I put, let's say, uh, D here, and my statement here is, let's say, for example, I put a statement here that like H is four places away from D. Okay, so basically that means that if I if I write it here that H H H is four places away from D, it actually means that. This is one place away, two place away, three place away, and four place away. I need to place H here. So H is four place away from D. That's the basic uh, meaning of this statement. Okay. Now, next one, guys. Now A is to the left of B. Again, same thing, right? So if I mark A is to the left of B here, so I can seriously mark like this. For example, A is to the left of B. If I put B here, A can be here also, or A can be here also, right? Even A can be here also. So A can be anywhere to the left of B. That's the meaning of seventh statement. But if I look at the eighth statement, A is to the immediate left of B. So if immediate left of B means if B is here, so A has to be its immediate left. So A has to be here. So I told you. So always your face direction facing towards your face, right? Your face is face. Your face is facing towards the screen. This is your front. So this is your right, and this is your left. So don't get confused. Confused in that. Okay. Now ninth one. The ninth one will be. Uh, C is to the right of D. Same thing, right? So basically, if I place somewhere here, so if I place D here, C is anywhere to the right of C, uh, right, uh, right of D, anywhere. Okay. But the tenth will be if C is to the immediate right of D. So if this is the case here, if D is let's say here, so C is immediate right, like this. Okay, that's the statement. Fine. Then, now, but in, yes, in circular arrangement, so this was about linear arrangement, right? But in circular arrangement. A is to the left of B. That and A is to the immediate left of B. These both the statements have got same meaning. Okay. In circular arrangement, they won't give separate statements, right? Like C is to the right of D or C is to the immediate right of D. Again, it has got same meaning. Okay. With the logic being here is, let's say if I make a circle here, guys. Okay. So in any circular arrangement, not looking like a circle here. So, 
in any circular arrangement what i can say that if i am putting let's say a uh, uh, for example let's say i am putting here i am putting let's say there are five four places here fine all are facing center right now okay so we'll do different sets we'll see uh, different scenarios so if all are facing the center so what i can do here is let's say uh, i place c here so if it is mentioned that d is to the right of c or if it is mentioned that d is to the right of c okay c to the right of d for example let's say it will be d here okay so if c is to the right of d so this is also right so all these are right only right so if you look in circular element all these are right 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 and it becomes ultimately left also so that's why in circular arrangement uh, logically we don't take if it is given that c is to the right of d we simply take okay that right basically means immediate right so in circular arrangement right is equal to immediate right okay and left is equal to immediate left that's the meaning of that's the meaning in circular arrangement left is equal to immediate left okay so let's say this is uh, if it is written that a is to the left of b so i can mark here if i mark b here then a is to the left of b is same here and a is to the immediate left of b same thing here okay so a left and immediate left both are same thing in circular arrangement fine and then uh, this also uh, right also okay that's the basic point in linear and circular arrangements okay so giving this the, these points in the mind we can solve different sets here okay so we will we'll, we'll uh, solving a series of sets of linear circular and we'll see uh, how do we approach a puzzle okay so approaching a puzzle is very important in what way you approach a puzzle okay so we'll learn all those ways uh, how do we approach a puzzle okay yes and it is if it is written that in circular arrangement if it is written that c is between a and b so in circular arrangement we take all to be together right so again in circular arrangement that's not a difference guys okay for example if we have got five uh, six people here or eight people here okay all are facing center right now so let's assume all are facing center okay so if there c is between a and b then we take a here b here then c will be here or its vice versa is also true vice versa means I can also take like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, C is kind of C is in between A and B. So B to the left of A, but A to the right of C. Okay, so kind of that all A, B, C are sitting together. Okay, so that's the uh, another that's another difference between linear and circular arrangement. So in circular arrangement, that between means all are together. Okay, because again circular arrangement has got no ends, right? So those rule only apply for linear arrangement where these are ends and we can find those seats in circular arrangement there are no ends so meaning is all like uh, they all all together in between okay otherwise if we try to take different meaning then we don't we end up with no possibility in circular arrangement because i told you somebody's right 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 is going right somebody is let's say is a here and a is right 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 you are going right and ultimately you can come to a is left okay so in circular arrangement is no end so that's why there are few difference between circular and linear arrangement we should know and these are the basic differences that means uh, especially when c is between a and b that means it's has to be is its meaning is exactly between automatically it automatically means that it is exactly between okay and also and also it also it also means that uh, it is they are consecutive they are consecutive right these two things are it, it is a automatic meaning here okay so all these points we'll be using in the next class set right so in the next video we'll be doing sets on linear circular element so let's continue there guys thank you